Hey everyone, Pastor Kim here from the Church at West Shore. Welcome to our daily devotion and prayer time. This is the Thursday edition and it is the 19th of September, 2024. And we are in Hebrews chapter four, beginning at verse 12. And these last few verses of chapter four give us three of the most impactful principles in all of scripture. Picking up in verse 12, it says, for the word of God is alive and powerful. It is sharper than the sharpest two-edged sword, cutting between soul and spirit, between joint and marrow. It exposes our inmost thoughts and desires. Nothing in all creation is hidden from God. Everything is naked and exposed before his eyes, and he is the one to whom we are accountable. So then, since we have a great high priest who has entered into heaven, Jesus, the Son of God, let us hold firmly to what we believe. This high priest of ours understands our weaknesses, for he faced all of the same testings we do, yet he did not sin. So let us come boldly to the throne of our gracious God, there we will receive his mercy and we will find grace to help us when we need it most. Principle number one, verse 12, the word of God is alive and powerful. This first principle is the understanding about what the word of God truly is. It is alive and powerful. It's sharper than any two-edged sword cutting between soul and spirit, between joint and marrow. And here's what it does. It exposes our inmost thoughts and desires. Nothing is hidden from God in all creation. Everything is exposed before his eyes. The first principle is simply the word of God is powerful. The word of God knows us. The word of God speaks to us. The word of God tells us where we're off track. It tells us how to get back on track and it tells us how to stay on track. Principle number two, verse 14. We have a great high priest who has entered heaven. Jesus, the son of God, let us hold firmly to what we believe. This high priest of ours understands our weaknesses for he faced all the same testings we do, yet he did not sin. Principle number two, Jesus is our high priest. This is why we have access directly to God. This is why when that temple veil was torn in two, when Jesus hung on the cross, it opened up the Holy of Holies for us to enter into the presence of God. So principle number two is that Jesus is our high priest and he's unlike any other high priest because as verse 15 says, he understands our weaknesses why? Because he went through everything that you and I go through, and yet he did not sin. So principle number one, the word of God. Principle number two, Jesus is our high priest, and he understands what we are going through. Principle number three, verse 16, because of what Jesus did, we are told this, let us come boldly to the throne of of our gracious God, there we will receive his mercy and we'll find grace to help us when we need it most. When that temple veil was torn in two, it opened up the Holy of Holies. And that means that you and I, we have direct access to God through the blood of Jesus Christ, through his atoning sacrifice, we can go directly to him. We don't have to go through anybody else. We don't have to jump in through any hoops. We go directly to God. So in these few verses, we have three incredible principles. Let me remind you, the word of God is alive and powerful, and it does some amazing things in our lives. Jesus, number two, is our high priest, and he understands what we have gone through. And principle number three, because he is our high priest and because he understands what we 
have gone through, that temple veil was torn into, and you and I have direct access to God. I pray you will ponder and and take to heart these three principles from this wonderful passage in Hebrews chapter 4. Let's pray. Father, thank you for your word. Thank you for Jesus, and thank you for the the access that we have to you right now. What we're doing right now, we have the ability to come to you boldly. And we thank you for that in the name of our precious Savior, Jesus. Amen. Well, I trust you'll have a terrific Thursday. Look forward to seeing you and being with you next time. And until then, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May his face shine upon you. May he be gracious to you and give you peace. And may you fall just a little bit deeper in love with Jesus today. Take care. And may God bless you.